So still one of the most popular business models on the internet is SEO or content marketing. So let's assume you have two media business owners, one paying um, 50 cents per article, per AI article, and one paying 100 bucks per article. This was me, the second one was me a couple of years ago, the first one is me today. And uh, yeah, we, let's assume both make two bucks per article per month. It's a very like common number, so say you have, if you have a uh, $20 revenue per thousand visitors. It assumes that you make a hundred visitors per month per article, which is doable. Assume both invest half of their revenue in, uh, in new articles, right? So you have like, you get some revenue and say you invest half of your revenue in new articles. And yeah, we, now we plot the net income of both business owners over time. You can see this yellow chart is the is the new is the business owner using AI? You see how how the revenue explodes basically, and here you see the net income model. This is just math, assume, uh, with these assumptions I outlined. Uh, you don't need to take the numbers too serious, but you see how a difference of 200x in input costs, even if you have the same output, which is a two dollar revenue per article output number, but if you have a vastly different input cost, um, you get different profit margin which means you can reinvest more in the business and and you can uh, have much better growth trajectory and here in this growth traje trajectory it would be of course unrealistic because you probably wouldn't make a million dollar in net income per month but some some do right and um, definitely it would not be possible here um, if you were, if you would pay a hundred bucks per article for a freelancer on Upwork this, I mean, you see here the slope of this line is very gradual, so it slightly increases, but the speed you can obtain by just using AI, it's just, uh, I'm, it's, it's just, it's not, not even a comparison. Okay, so how do you, how do you get this? Let's have a quick example. Say you, you search for the term "become financially free." You click on the first, um, the first article that pops up. This article gets all the traffic for this term and this term probably will have a re uh, RPM so revenue per thousand visitors of say 40 or 50 bucks even probably because it's like a highly uh, valuable keyword for many advertisers that's why they bid up the ad space on your article so articles like this will will uh, likely get a higher revenue per thousand visitors and you see this one this article is the best article now you can should, could now if you click this article eight expert tips to help you become financially independent you can scroll through the article. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, now your finances, such a, like a very classic uh, FIRE article, say fi financial independence, retire early article. Reduce your debt, pay off your mortgage, live be below your means, increase your income, invest in your future, build an emergency fund, monitor your credit score, and so on. So it's like a very normal article, right? So let's copy the URL and use our recommended AI, AI writer. So I use this, this Koala writer. You can check it out as well. And, um, and uh, like in the, in the description below, I will leave a, an affiliate link. Um, and if you use our affiliate code YouTube, you will get 15% off on all payments. This is basically, and this is how you can produce articles at uh, 50 cents per, per article. Actually, it's even cheaper, I would say. I just used like a number because it, yeah, it's a, it's a good number. 50 cents per article shows how powerful the tool is. But, but you can write high quality articles. Uh, on average, the quality of those articles will be better than the human written article. Um, you can write high quality articles by just plugging in the, the a certain um, keyword here. And what I wanted to show is the rewrite blog post um, feature, right? So you can automatically um, write articles about certain um, topics. Like here, I just post the article URL in, uh, uh, in, in, in into this field article URL. It um, analyzes the URL. Now it has pulled all the information from this article. You click enable rewriting and uh, so it recreates images and stuff it automatically fills in the target keyword you can you can click the seo optimization you want for instance so this will um, 
will be optimized. So it, it analyzes top ranking pages for our keyword that we just mentioned. And um, yeah, it, it, it fills in the, the relevant keywords and entities used in the article. So it's really SEO optimized. You can specify some internal linking if you want here, for instance, with the, with the blog Finkster website, you can put in any like random weird uh, URL you want here to, to link. So you have some outgoing links into this. It will automatically analyze this page here. For, um, it will analyze the page for all. So it will use the, um, uh, the sitemap to find relevant URLs it can, it could, can link to. For this example article, we use the, the thinkster.com website that you probably know. And here you can use a image model. You can use premium or standard mo model. I always use premium. I want, I want good quality like photo for instance and um, yeah I already did it with illustration okay so let's go with illustration um, but photo would be even uh, even better you can also embed automatically find some videos that you want to embed select the tone of this like casual formal SEO optimized whatever right let's go with casual English for the United States in second person you can also use first person or third person, whatever you want. You can use real-time data, so it will automatically fetch the search results for each section and then use this data to help generate the article. So you can really have timely data into it. It is like much better than just using ChatGPT, say, to write the article, um, because it also analyzes uh, search, search results. Um, then you have some, some optional targets like cite the sources, what type of sources you want and only academic sources or all like web sources. You can use an outline editor to customize the article. You can add a, an FAQ uh, section for frequently asked questions, which is also really relevant for SEO. You can include key takeaways, which uh, would often like result in your article getting selected, selected as a Google snippet, say that directly answers the question. Like here we see this article, if you search for become financially free, this one is a Google snippet. It will already like show the, the answer on the Google website and it's like above the fold answer, right? And you want something like this. And you can also click improve readability. So it will go over the article once more, rewrite the article to improve its content. Okay, and then you could just click on create article. You will get an article like this. Um, I have already done this, how to become financially independent, hacking your way to money nirvana. And you can see now this article is based on this article we just checked out, right? Where it, with this one to 10 step steps, let's see if it works. So it also generates nice images. It embeds relevant videos, get a handle of your money. It has like one, two, cut down your debt, cut down on spending, boost your earnings. And yeah, maybe you have some, have to do some, some minor adjustments if you want. Maybe you can remove some images if the images are broken. But usually if you use photos, the images are much better. I used illustration here. That's why the images sometimes, so they don't, I mean, it's a, it's a okay image. I would say like, it feels like a stock image. Um, say for rainy days. Okay. And here it has this AI issue with the fingers, right? So you can also like, don't use images at all if you want, if you don't want to or use a different image model or use photos, as I said, which is probably a better choice. It will generate better outcomes. Um, so it's not perfect yet. Of course, no AI tool is perfect, but if you would hire a human writer and a human designer, it wouldn't be perfect either, right? And it's just a difference between paying a hundred bucks and paying 50 cents per generated article. Having a solid plan for unexpected cost. Now look at this unexpected cost. It will basically give me a link to a website on the on Finkster. You can see it at the bottom. You can see the link where it links to. And it also links to other websites. So it's just a useful, helpful article. Keep an eye on credit scores, money advice, start your path to freedom, then some key things to do, track your spending, build an emergency fund, invest for the future, keep your credit score healthy. It also answers some money questions here. I like this kind of infographic style approach, how to become financially independent. Um, while in school, while in school, yeah, try to save at least 10% of your income. So very like traditional kind of tips, much like the article, very like safe tips. If you I mean, it's, it's always a safe advice to save a bit of your income, invest it, diversify and stuff. I mean, the, these kind of tips that they are the, the, like many people like these kind of tips, I would say maybe be a bit more aggressive, no financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but like I like to invest in high growth opportunities. 
but okay, it's just a matter of style. So um, it even gives you some calculations. How much should you save? A common rule is a 4% rule. Multiply your yearly expenses by 25. That's your target savings. For example, yearly expenses 40K, multiply with 25, getting 1 million. So 1 million would be the goal, right? So it's, uh, it gives tables and all the things. So it's, it's a really nice article, well-written article. It has rewritten this article, but I would say our new article is better than this original article. Why? Because it just has more, more candy to it, right? The article is very, this article is very simple, doesn't have any um, calculations, numbers, practical examples, um, images, has like one list or so, but okay, that's it. Uh, whereas our article that we just generated has um, uh, like tables and stuff as well, right? It has the FAQ. It has like, can you be financially independent as a woman, smart money moves for women, and so on. So I mean, it's just like a more comprehensive whole article, I would say. So it's really a great tool. Uh, you can rewrite existing articles using AI. This could be like the basis. You could basically automate, automatically re rewrite all articles of this blog, right? And uh, steal a bit of the traffic. It's like a black hat SEO hack, uh, uh, rewrite um, articles from different uh, blogs using AI and oftentimes if you use the right tools like this tool um, you, you, the rewritten articles will often be better than the original articles and you would have created real value because the original articles already are the highest ranking articles if you choose uh, wisely and this way you can build websites on the site there's no guarantee of course it's a it's a, like a competitive business but I think doing something like this every day on the site it will uh, improve your skills it will keep you um, engaged with the new AI tools and will uh, create real-world value um, and over time um, this might be a financially viable approach you can see if you if you spend less for AI written content, for better AI written content, then you would you would pay for human, right? You would pay 200 times as much for human content, but the AI written content is better. Then of course you could disrupt whole industries with this approach, having like a 200x cost improvement for and getting better quality. Then the difference between these two businesses is like. Um, it's off the charts, right? <laughs> you can see in this this example we use ChatGPT to plot. Um, okay, so if you are interested in this tool, check out the description. I give a link to the tool with a 15% um, discount of all payments forever. So this is a discount uh, we 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 get uh, with it with the tool provider, and um, uh, it will support our channel. So thanks for that. But it will also reduce your costs even more. So your cost per article will reduce even more and like having lower input cost, you can see here, uh, can yield to vastly different results. So you should use all cost savings you can lay your hand on to, um, to, to build a business, whether it's on the side or as a main income source, uh, doesn't matter, applies to both. Okay, thanks for, for watching, please, Give me a like and subscribe to the Finkset channel. I would really appreciate having you here. I, um, yeah, I'm doing this to help you be on the right side of change and I can use any support I, uh, you can give me. Thanks. Bye.